Okay, welcome in Brian Edwards, MajorWager.com. Big news in college basketball today as Juwan Howard is reportedly going to be the next head coach at the University of Michigan. Uh, there were scattered reports this morning, and then uh, John Rothstein of CBS Sports, and then Jeff Goodman of Stadium uh, confirmed that Juwan Howard will be the next head coach at the University of Michigan. Back in 1989, when Bill Frieder accepted the head coaching job at Arizona State ahead of the NCAA tournament, but wanted to stay on uh, as the head coach of the Wolverines for the NCAA tournament. And Bo Schimbeckler, the, the former head football coach and athletic director at the time, famously said, well, he didn't say hell no, but he basically, he basically said a Michigan man will coach Michigan in the NCAA tournament. And Bill Frieder was not a Michigan man anymore. Steve Fisher was named the head coach. And Glenn Rice, Lloyd Vault, Terry Mills, Sean Higgins, Mike Griffin, and of course, Ramil Robinson, who hit those critical uh, free throws after that shaky call by famous former SEC referee John Clockerty on Gerald Green with a block call out in Seattle at the Old Kingdom. And Michigan won the national title with Steve Fisher at the helm as the interim coach. But Shim Beckler names him the head coach. He goes on to recruit. The Fab Five, which obviously included Chris Weber, uh, Jalen Rose, Jawan Howard, uh, Jimmy King, and Ray Jackson. And Howard was probably the most popular and liked of the guys. Uh, you know, C-Webb was probably the best college player and probably the best pro. And then you could debate Jawan and Jalen, um, who was, you know, the better or, or more popular. But in terms of you know, a lot of people hated C. Webb and Jalen Rose. If you weren't a Michigan fan, I think it was pretty universal that everybody's always liked Jawan Howard. He's a good guy. Not, uh, off my recollection, I can't remember him ever being in any trouble off the court. So um, he will be the. Well, he's always been a Michigan man. All right, what are the pros of hiring Jawan Howard? Well, he's famous from the Fab Five. OK, um, he bleeds maize and blue. Um, he is from Chicago, so he's obviously got recruiting connections there. He played with the Heat from 2010 to 2013, and then he's been an assistant since then. And Udonis Haslam's been with the Heat the whole time. Udonis Haslam, perhaps the most famous of all the Miami senior uh, high school alums, Miami Senior, the the powerhouse in Dade County and always has been from back when Shaky Rodriguez was there. Frank Martin was there before he got into college coaching. Uh, they've produced dozens and dozens and dozens of D1 players over the last decade. So he's obviously dialed in on recruiting in South Florida. I mean, he's not been in the college ranks, but he knows people. And – uh, he was also in D.C. where he played for seven years, uh, even played in Denver for three years, Houston for three years. So Jawan Howard is connected all across the country. Um, and so that's the pros from the recruiting standpoint, how his connections in different big metropolis cities that are fertile recruiting grounds, certainly Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach County down in South Florida. Chicago, a hotbed, obviously Detroit, a hotbed, and the key recruiting grounds for Michigan. So those are the pros. He's a popular dude. He played in the pros. He can tell you about the pros. He coached in the pros. That's all stuff that, that recruits like and their parents like. And every parent of kids getting recruited right now remembers the Fab Five or, or is in the similar, you know, or close to similar age group. Um now, what are the cons of Jawan Howard? Well, he's never been a head coach, ever, ever, once. So that's a big con. Um, never coached in the college ranks. So as much as I mentioned the pros of how he's connected in different hotbed recruiting areas, he's also never recruited. He's got to get to know that NCAA rulebook real fast. Um, another con. This is a rebuild, okay? 
Michigan has lost uh, Jordan Poole. Um, they've lost Charles Matthews. Uh, they've lost uh, the freshman uh, Euro kid, Briz Dacus, making an official, making an official yesterday. That he's going to stay in the NBA draft. Um, another con, pro coaches. Now, granted, Howard's only been an assistant. But, you know, guys from the pros that have tried to go to college have mostly failed. I mean, really, who do you even think of who's been successful? Now, Patino started in college, was obviously uh, at Providence and took them to a Final Four in 87 before he went to the Knicks and then went back to college and obviously had great success at, at Kentucky and Louisville, uh, minus a little NCAA probation and some banners in the basement and what have you. Um, but anyhow, you look like Isaiah Thomas, FIU, horrible. I mean, he got fired by FIU. Um, Avery Johnson just recently won NCAA tournament in four years for Alabama and was this close, uh, a Colin Sexton buzzer beater in the SEC tournament, uh, when they were down one to A&M. If not for that, they don't go to the tournament. Um, Chris Mullen now. He was an executive in the NBA, but um, then he goes to college, gets St. John's, what he was at, what, three or four years. Um, he got him to the tournament this last year, but it was only the first four, and they got that ass beat um, there. So pro coaches going to college, not much uh, success. Fred Hoiberg had success, obviously. Um, where it was he Minnesota, then went Iowa State, and then uh, then Chicago got fired. Now he's at Nebraska. And by the way, he's doing really well in the recruiting uh, tra or the transfer market. Him and Eric Musselman, no surprise, from Nevada to Arkansas. Hoiberg kind of laid that framework for um, you know going the transfer route to get your roster right. So Jawan Howard. Um, a, a couple more notes on him. Uh, he averaged 17 points per game in the NBA 10 times. He averaged 7.0 rebounds per game or more, obviously, 11 times. So he wasn't just in the pros. He was a really good pro. And um, he's a Michigan man, like I said, maize and blue all the way. He's got recruiting connections and big recruiting hotbeds, but he's never officially recruited. Um, he's got to hire a great staff, and uh, it's going to be a, a rebuild. Now, he needs to get in the transfer market and get in there fast because there are still some really good grad transfers out there, and Michigan's going to need them. But um, anyhow, he, he – Ed Cooley, he might have been just leveraging Providence or he might have just wanted to be loyal. But it looks like the Michigan assistant – Jawan Howard and Ed Cooley were, looks like those three were the really the only ones that that uh, had legit interviews and were were in the you know in the process. So Ward Manuel, his only college basketball hire previously was Kevin Ollie at UConn, like we mentioned in the last video, and um, they got a national championship out of that at UConn. But then things ended very rough and very sour. Um, we'll see how this next one works out. I'm kind of, I don't, I mean, you know, grading a coaching hire right when it happens is something that, you know, you get graded on that grade down the line. Right now, I guess it's an okay hire. I, I mean, I'm not giving it an A. I'm not giving it an F. We shall see. So Michigan, Jawan Howard, that's a done deal. I'm Brian Edwards, MajorWager.com. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you next time.